Hello, my name is Sia Rive and I'm with the research group Science and Technology for Peace and Security at the Technical University of Darmstadt. And I'd like to talk about our paper, The Impact of Organizational Structure and Technology Use on Collaborative Practices in Computer Emergency Response Teams. My co-authors are Marc-André Kaufold and Christian Reuter. Research into computer-supported cooperative work, CCUW, has driven the field of crisis informatics, which is a multidisciplinary field, quote, concerned with the ways in which information systems are entangled with socio-behavioral phenomena connected to disasters, as Soden and Pillen have stated in 2018. Despite acknowledging the impact of human-induced emergencies, most research so far has focused on collective and individual behavior in natural disasters, as well as the use of social media in the context of crisis response. Securing information technology and cybersecurity incidents um, response for citizens, public services, and critical infrastructures have become part of national security agendas. And the related strategies do not only focus on the security of governmental organizations, but also emphasize the importance of public-private partnerships and multi-organizational collaboration for incidents response. Therefore, our stu uh, study con contributes to the CCW discourse by describing a work environment where collaboration is important, if not necessary, connecting cybersecurity, crisis informatics, and CCW while building foundations for design and evaluation, evaluation studies to support the collaboration of CERTs. The German Fed Federal Administration provides an interesting case as it facilitates the collaboration between independent cybersecurity organizations for the 16 states and the federal government. Therefore, we conducted an analysis of 15 semi-structured expert interviews and 25 secondary documents analyzing the organizational structure, technology usage, and cross-organizational collaboration of state-level uh, German certs. In this study, there are two types of certs. Those who work in the service provider of the state to, uh, and those who work in the state ministries, for example, the Ministry um, of Interior. The main purpose of CERTs is to respond to cybersecurity incidents. However, the CERTs differ across uh, individual services, resources, skills, and organizational structure. And our results show that this organizational structure, as well as the characteristics of the German federal systems, are shaping um, the CERTs' perspectives, for example. Ministry certs work more closely with other ministerial security organizations, such as the police, and in contrast to um, service certs, which work um, closer to the operators of IT infrastructure. And in terms of technology, we found that certs already use common communication tools like chat to exchange information for ad hoc collaboration. There are regular meetings for improved collaboration, knowledge sharing, and relationship building. Uh, and um, these actions are coordinated by the administrative third network that we have in Germany. And in figure one, um, I want to show you an example of a state level third information and communication um, technology infrastructure that I'm going to walk uh, through with you. So uh, after initial information about an incident is gathered, thirds use a ticketing and reporting system to collect the evidence for incidents response. As a second step, the evidence is analyzed using awareness-focused and collaboration-oriented channels. Third, the collected evidence is then used to inform a certain stakeholder with specific recommendations to provide daily reports or um, daily reports for selected stakeholders or to issue general warning for multiple stakeholders. However, we identified mostly loose collaboration due to the lack of standardization for day-to-day -day operations. In addition, liabilities for cross-organizational collaboration are often not clearly defined. Therefore, personal connections formed during the regular meetings are a central aspect of collaboration. 
And um, regarding the monitoring and analysis, some tasks are conducted manually and thus uh, could be automated for better information sharing. In addition, multiple security advisories are used um, to gather information and um, thus CERTs are confronted with the issue of redundant information and um, currently require manual deduplication um, of entries. Another challenge concerns, of course, um, privacy uh, regulation and data minimization, as well as um, conf um, restrictions regarding confidentiality. For example, the sharing of uh, information between certs and non-cert actors is sometimes limited due to these privacy and confidentiality restrictions and different legal framework, frameworks for ministry and service certs. And um, in addition to that, to the, uh, due to the scarce financial, personal and time resources, we found asymmetries um, and sometimes even competition between certs. And for, from these observations, we derived several design and policy implications. And um, now I want to go through them. Um, for example, to develop a collaborative system, there's a need for an interoperable and modular architecture that supports the different services and focus points of certs, um, and also um, to shift from loose cooperation towards service level agreement, which would address um, the lack of liabilities. Furthermore, we recommend a cross-platform for the monitoring and analysis of threat and incident data, which preserves privacy and confidentiality at the same time. This platform could also help to reduce duplication of information using deduplication techniques and standards, uh, standardized threat exchange format, uh, which would help to reduce these redundancies. Overall, Our suggestions would lead to the protection of already scarce resources through process semi-automation of the monitoring and the reporting processes, as well as uh, transparent reporting structures for information exchange. I'm looking forward to your questions. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you in this session.